so much, Mr. Sadefuro. Uh, we uh, will continue shortly uh, in our, with our next session. I would like to just say that these remarks by the ambassadors and the diplomat, diplomats, uh, they're very, very important. Uh, they should be broadcast all over Sweden. Uh, so people would actually hear what is being said in this room. However, I do want to thank uh, a new friend of mine, uh, Friedrich Vargos, who is working here uh, voluntarily with TV100 uh, as a Swedish company that wants to bring the real messages to the Swedish public that are not being addressed by the so-called major Swedish news media. So we're very grateful for uh, Mr. Vargos' presence here. Uh, we hope that this will, these, in, this, these presentations and these remarks will be spread more widely uh, in the coming period ahead. So uh, thank you, thank you so much, Mr. Vargos, in fact. I would uh, say that we have maybe just five minutes uh, if there, we will have a panel discussion uh, later after the final third session <clears throat> where everybody will have the possibility to ask questions and uh, make remarks. If there are some very short specific questions which we could take for just five minutes, not more, uh, before the next speaker, uh, Mr. Hussein Askari, uh, will speak. I don't know if there's something that somebody would like to, uh, to ask. Otherwise, then I will say we can continue. Uh, this last session will be addressed first by Mr. Askari. Uh, it will address retooling how we will actually bring about the kinds of visions that we've been talking about. Not just dreams, but reality. And uh, there will also be a presentation after uh, by, a, by the Honorable Mr. Tora Vespi, who is a former member of the Norwegian Parliament, and will have some remarks for us from uh, our brotherly uh, nation of Norway uh, in response and in regards to this. And then our member of the BRICS, uh, Mr. Lars Aspling, who will make the last presentation. So with that said, I will give the floor to Mr. Askari. Thank you.